Before MS, I did anything I wanted to do. I was very active, worked in the heating and air conditioning business. I was learning the plumbing business from my husband and I was very athletic and worked a lot in sports. And then I volunteered in the school districts tutoring kids. We had an active lifestyle. We had 10 or 12 nieces and nephews that we spent a lot of time with, a lot of family members, a lot of friends. And before, and before she was diagnosed, we could participate in all that stuff. And after she was diagnosed, it was like, wait a minute, we can't do this no more. She was so sick. Once I got diagnosed, um, basically what I was being told is that I would have to take medicine the rest of my life, um, which at that time they were shots. They just basically kept telling me that I would get worse and deteriorate and help. Um, it would complicate my life and that probably in the very end or long term that I would end up in a nursing home because there would be nothing they could do for me. Then she'd become like a dartboard shots everywhere and they didn't work. Um, basically I was better and I was flat on my back. There was days I could not even get up because it messed with my equilibrium and stuff so if I got up I would throw up <laughs> and so those days were awful. I used to get Jill in the car say let's go to grocery store. We get two miles from my house she's throwing up the bag I got to bring her back home then I have to go to the grocery store, and I have to go do this, and I have to go do this, and I have to go do this. She was on so many medications, 10 or 12, and um, a lot of things were out of whack. The process that worried me as we went through this disease was the fact that I had to work, I had to leave her at home by herself, and I, I often wondered if the house gets on fire, how is she gonna get out? He's been my biggest advocate through this whole system. He did all the research. Then I was on the net and I happened to get on the right website for Stemetics. At that time, I was flat on my back in bed. I'd been there for four months and not able to get out of bed. I thought, well, she has absolutely nothing to lose. If it works, it works. And if it don't, it's just something else out there that we have to try. So we, we went and we did it. The initial results to me were exciting and because I actually moved my feet and my toes and stuff, which I had not moved in probably nine years uh, because they'd been paralyzed. So to even have sensations and feeling in my legs and my feet was kind of a new experience. It certainly gave Jill her life back. Uh, I don't have to go to work now. Where can she get out of the house? Because she'd probably get out faster than I can. Well, last year when I came, like he, like he said, um, I was gray. I could not sit up in a chair. I had no abilities to move my legs, stand up, do anything. They actually had to use a lift to put me on the examination beds and in the oxygen chambers and stuff. And today when I went to get my oxygen treatment, um, I stood up to get on the examination table to be wheeled into the oxygen chamber and the doctor and everybody just looked at me like I was crazy because I had never stood up for them before. They'd never seen it. And they just couldn't believe that there was that much difference from last year to this year. And and I see the glow back in her 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 face and her smile and 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 I just see her getting better and better and better and better. I guess I've had a really good experience with Stemetics because they've always supported me. They've always set everything up for me so I didn't have to worry about setting up doctor's appointments, anything like that. They have taken care of everything through their coordinators and stuff. And they always followed up, make sure I was doing okay, if there was anything we needed. Um, they've never just left us hanging they always made sure that we were taken care of when we've come here and made sure we need, had everything we needed to, to uh, function and get around. And so it's, it's one less worry, I guess, because before we've always had to deal with it ourselves. And in the 13 months since we've come here for the second time, her energy level's up, uh, her thyroid's clear. Uh, we're not sick anymore. We're not doing... Uh, 
any kind of medicines for MS. After having this treatment, I guess what's changed me, um, I still get frustrated some when I can't do things I want to do. Um, but I feel better because I can actually go and do things with him. I mean, I could even go grocery shopping, which is a simple task, and now I can. I can go out to dinner with him if we want to. Um, before, I couldn't do any of that. And that's been a big difference. <laughs> In her last MRI, it revealed to a new neurologist that knew nothing about the previous MRIs because I withheld that from him to see what he would find and he found that the lesions in her brain have healed and are no longer there. I can tell the simple thing of hot and cold water when I take a shower which I never could before. Um, I've even had both the doctor and a physical therapist stick me with needles in my legs and feet and I can tell them where they're sticking me which totally shocked them. When she is as good as she is now, she functions better, she cooks, she cleans the house, she doesn't need a lot of help taking showers or nothing. It just makes my life a lot easier. If you have another disease besides MS, if you're to the point where medicine's not working and you're getting frustrated and you're getting worse like I did, um, oh, I'd highly recommend it to anybody. After getting my health back and and basically changing our lifestyle again for the third time. <laughs> um, we are going to be able to move back to Tennessee where Ricky can retire and we're just going to enjoy life now and basically not take things for granted like I did before.